Hi, okay, this is Monkey Wrench by Foo Fighters. And uh, I'll just run through it to begin with. Here's the first part. First chord is F sharp. It's not, it's B. First chord is B. Okay, so this is Monkey Wrench by the Foo Fighters. It's all power chords, two note power chords. First chord is B. One finger on the A string, second fret, one finger on the D string, fourth fret, and it sounds like this. Just play those two strings. Preferably with distortion, a bit of palm music. Sixteenth notes, that is to say, short, stocky notes. Like that. That's sixteen of them. Next chord shape is uh, the same chord shape, one string up, which is F sharp. That's second fret on the E string, fourth fret on the A string. You play that once, and then you take your finger off the E string, and you play a sort of E chord. Really, you're just playing the E string. It doesn't matter if you if you do hear the um, the fourth fret A string. If you really want to get it right, then you should play that. Proper E chord. But it doesn't really matter, it's much easier to just go as opposed to. Especially when it comes to going afterwards. So I recommend you play that way. So it's uh, A string 2, D string 4, 16 times. Then once on the F sharp chord, which is uh, E string 2, A string 4. Lift your finger off the E string and hit that six times, I think. Then you go one more time, and then I think you hit the E string seven times. Okay, so you just repeat that and go. One in ten part goes um, uh, open E chord, open D chord, open E chord, open D chord. One in ten. One in ten. One in ten. One in ten. And that's a pre chorus. The chorus is almost identical to the verse, apart from it adds two more chords, which are passing chords. One of them is. Here's your B chord, you move that up one fret and you get a C chord, which is A3, D5. And you use that as a passing chord to slide down to the B at the end of the phrase and go. So it starts with the B chord. There's eight Bs. Then you play uh, A flat, which is. E string, 4th fret, A string, 6th fret. See the same phrasing as the first. And you end with the C chord, sliding down to B. Whole thing goes. Sorry. I'll have to edit that out. Here's the chorus all the way through. On the fourth time round, you stay on the um, F sharp E, but a bit longer. So that's just a matter of working out the strumming. Uh, what else is there? Not much really. There's, um, there's the uh, the lead part, which goes uh, B string seventh fret twice, B string fifth fret twice, 
B string, fourth fret twice, second fret, then fifth, fourth, second, open, second, open, G first. Now I've lost track, sorry. Do that slowly. Seven, seven, five, five, four, four, two, two, five, five, four, four, two, two. Open, open, two, two, open, open, G one, G one, open, two, open, open, two, open, B bend up, bend down, hammer off. some annotations and uh, symbols and illustrations and stuff for you. Hope you get it. See you around next time. Bye.